of years ago, Susan Marino and Victor Labruna turned their lovely home on Long Island, New York, into a rehab and hospice sanctuary for a few sick and neglected animals. Today, that few animals has turned into a few hundred. This little slice of heaven is aptly called Angel's Gate. Watch this tape. <laughs> My name is Susan, and I am founder and director of Angel's Gate Hospice and Rehab Center. Mommy's delicious doggy. We take care of critically and terminally ill animals, as well as animals that have physical disabilities. You're such a good dog. My name is Victor, and I help Susan run Angel's Gate. <laughs> when I told him what my vision was for this, unlike many people, he didn't think I was crazy. He just wanted to know what he could do to help. In our home, we take care of some 200 animals. We have 55 dogs. 70 odd cats. Two ponies. 30 ducks and swans. 20 parrots in this room. And a goat named Ned. Every animal that comes in here has their own story. Any day, we can have wild things happen, exciting things, sad things. Animals pass, animals come. We spend a lot of time doing physical therapy with animals that have physical challenges. Samson is a boxer pup that came to me when he was five weeks old. His breeder had a litter of pups and she didn't know what she was going to do with him because he has the angular deformities of all four legs. Everybody loves you. It made me realize that there were so many animals out there that needed to be saved. We have lots of animals here and a few of them are our pets. So some are very, very special in a personal way. For most of my life, I've been trained as a nurse. I've worked in most of the area hospitals. My primary focus has always been with children. In essence, I'm still doing the same thing, except now my children have feathers and fur. What are you doing? Hi. I feel so good about everything that we're doing here. I truly believe that this is a mission, because I can't imagine not doing this. Welcome, Susan Marino and uh, Victor Labruna. You have done such a beautiful thing uh, to bring so many animals, needy animals, into your home like this. I congratulate you. It's really a nice thing to do. I wish more people did such a thing. Tell us about um, Angel Fate in your own in your own words. Uh, how was it funded? Uh, how do you take care of? people like Samson, people. Well, See, he's a person to me. Uh, Angel's Gate actually started because I recognized a need. Uh, I saw that too many animals were being euthanized unnecessarily. Uh, people had animals that had severe handicaps or animals that had liver disease, kidney disease, cancer, and they weren't capable of caring for them. And we decided that because of my medical background that it's something that we could do. Now this, this creature, Samson, he's a, a beautiful dog, he had a wonderful face, a beautiful, healthy animal, but he was born with very severe deformities to his legs. He has to walk on his forearms. He, he walks on his elbows and his yeah. knees. Now, and what are you going to do for him? Uh, next month, well, actually in two weeks. He's Samson, a year and a half. He's yeah. a year and a half, and uh, he's already had one surgery. Uh, a process was developed, it's actually state-of-the-art, where they developed a, a software program to create models that they'll follow in surgery, and corrective surgery will be done for him by Dr. Marcel and Little at NC State oh, next, great. in a couple of weeks. And does he think 